Stan Gibalisco here to describe the three basic field effect transistor circuit configurations known as the common source, the common gate, and the common drain. These are the analogies or the analogs of the common emitter, common base, and common collector bipolar transistor circuits. What you're looking at here is a view to the southeast from the long wave ranch, 2.25 acres with a trailer on it near Cody, Wyoming, that uh, I'm renting out to some very nice people and may someday want to go live there myself. I call it the long wave ranch because those northwesterly winds would allow me to fly long wires with kites and balloons towards the southeast. And as you can see, there's nothing but undeveloped and undevelopable canyon for them to fall on. What a view, don't you think? I took that with an iPad in February of 2013. I think it's just the quintessential west, all the way down to this thingy here, this this flatbed trailer. Uh, anyway, I'd like to just cut to the chase. This uh, material can be found in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition, chapter 23, uh, there's a lot more good stuff in that book, and I will provide a link to this book's Amazon.com page in the description of this video. But the first circuit configuration, now this is a field effect transistor, an N-channel junction field effect transistor in the common source configuration. And you can tell that it is a common source or grounded source circuit because the source is at signal ground. That's what this capacitor C1 does. It keeps the source at signal ground. R1 allows us to provide DC bias to that source without affecting the signal, which can easily pass through this capacitor. Resistor R2 provides bias for the base to let this thing operate in class A where the, uh, in case you don't know, in class A operation, current flows through the device for the entire input cycle, and the operating point is at the middle of the straight line portion of the characteristic curve of the device. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, in this book, you can find out. Capacitor C2 lets the signal in, but doesn't let this direct current go back and screw up the input. Notice the input is at the uh, is at the uh, gate. The input signal appears between the source and the gate in all configurations of uh, all common configurations of signal amplifiers and processors. R3 provides the bias for the collector and C3 lets the signal on out without letting this DC screw up the output. So that is the common source, also known as the grounded source configuration. We can also ground the gate. You'll notice that by, by detecting the fact that the gate is at signal ground and we apply the input to the source, even though the signal for the, from the input appears between the gate and the source. These components perform essentially the same functions in this circuit as they do in the common source configuration. The advantage of a common gate is uh, similar to the advantage of a common uh, a common uh, base a bipolar circuit and a common grid vacuum tube circuit, by the way, or grounded grid circuit. It's more stable. It's less likely to break into unwanted oscillation. It has less gain than the common source circuit, but the fact that it has less gain inherently makes it more stable and also there is more isolation between the input and the output because the input here goes to the source and the and the gate is sort of <laughs> a gatekeeper in the way a little bit as it were so this is a more stable circuit but you'll get less gain this is better for power amplification the the uh, common source circuit would be much better for weak signal amplification particularly with a high input impedance. Finally we have the common drain or grounded drain also known as a source follower. 
That circuit can provide impedance matching between a very high impedance input, very high because it's a field effect transistor, and a low impedance output taken from the source. You can recognize the uh, source follower by the fact that the output is taken from the source and the collector, or collector, the drain is at signal ground through this capacitor C3. You'll learn a lot more about this uh, topic and many others in my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Again, I will provide a link to the Amazon.com page for this book in the description of this video. Now back to the Long Wave Ranch and looking forward to ham radio operation on those new frequency bands we might get. Long, long, long wire. I'd have to check with the uh, Federal Aviation Administration to be sure it's legal to fly something like that before I do it, but I'll figure out something. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.